What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, Next Gen 720 and I am back with another video. Um, before I start today's video, I know I'm getting happy doing these, doing these things live. It's, it's a lot easier for me. A lazy way to do them, I guess, instead of me editing, processing, and uploading, or just shit, shooting shit live. Get to talk with you guys while I do them. And I'm just thought, you know, it's a new way I'm going to start, maybe start doing um, the majority of my videos so I can, um, get you guys to involved in the videos that I'm doing. So that's the reason why I guess I've been doing my last few videos like this. Um, let's go, but before I start today's video, so speaking of, you, you see the title, Forza Six Specs and Info Leak. I just bought me a new car, um, so yeah, I have facts on it. I've been dealing with that. This one, like it's crazy, but I, 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 I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but anyway, on to today's video. Uh, there were some major leaks that came out from Xbox one in Japan. I don't know if it's done intentionally or what are they not on the same page. But it says here Xbox Japan just opened up a new page for the upcoming Xbox One exclusive Forza Motor Speed blah, blah, blah. Forza Motor Sport 6, revealing some interesting details about the game in a few images. Um let me actually let me put this on Twitter as I'm doing this. Little raggedy Michaels did that first. Um, yeah, so anyway, it was you know you know the Xbox One page you know for uh, Japan they opened up their Forza you know because each one they made the game Halo don't have their own little hub or whatever so they did the Forza Six already and um and like I said they let lose some very very exclusive information probably that was meant for E three. He says, unrelenting action and simulation speed races over race over 450 cars in the most beautiful and comprehensive racing game of this generation. So you get this, ladies and gentlemen, over 450 cars. That's not including the DLC that's going to come down the line later down the pipe. So this game may have upwards of 500 cars. It says here, as well as it gets breathtaking graphics at 1080p resolution and 60 frames per second. First they said 50, but they said they reached out to Microsoft, it was a typo. Resolution is 1080p, 60 frames per second, wet weather, 3D puddles, at night and a night racing, test your driving skills, and cutting edge for the tech engine. Powers the unrelenting, unrelenting action and state of the art physics simulation speed. Unlimited car fantasies, you got, like I said, more than 450 cars. Jeez, I'm slobbing all over the fucking place here. Um, it's just that fucking good. Um, you know, they say they talk about the 450 cars. Yeah, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, it says here, never race alone. Home of the greatest racing tuning, planning, community, and gaming two player split screen, 24 player races. The realistic driver to our opponents deliver pack tracks and unrivaled, un unrivaled action. Um, let's get back up here to what it says here 1080p, 60 frames a second, wet weather, 3D puddles. I've never seen that in a game, in a racing game. If I'm wrong, someone please stop me and, and leave something in the comment section there. So when you look at games like Project Cars, which is only 900p on the Xbox One, and I can guarantee, I can bet my channel that Forza Motorsports is visually, graphically, Project Cars is going to be here. <laughs> um, Forza Motorsports. Just going by some of the pictures of these left of these of these cars before. The Xbox website took them down, but um, uh, Dual Shock does have some of the images there. Um, I can tell you just by these images alone that it's, it's Project Cars doesn't come close to Forza Motorsport 6. She said, Well, damn, why couldn't you get that game to 1080p 60 frames a second on the Xbox One? You know, it all comes down to money. Uh, this is a first party studio. Uh, of course, they're going to go all out for this, uh, but it's probably going to be the best looking car racing, car racing game of this generation. This is wet weather, 3D puddle, race at night. Um, you know, like, damn, 3D puddles, you hold it, hit a, hit a puddle. Like, this, like I said, this is going to be over the top. This is going to be amazing. And you know what's crazy? I'm not even a big fan of simulation racers. I'm not, I like to do, like, I'm going to listen to do 90 miles around the corner in a Lamborghini or something. Like, I like Forza Horizon 2 series better. But you can see that with these, with the Forzas, it's not they put out a Forza series. It's two different games, two different type of games. 
for those who didn't know, you had Forza 5 that came on at launch. A year later, you had Forza Horizon 2. A year later, you have Forza Motorsport 6. After that, you're going to have Forza Horizon 3. You know, so they, they alternated years. So every two years, you get a Forza Motorsport. You know what I mean? And uh, Turn 10, like I said, they take their time uh, with this game. Uh, it's beautiful. And like I said, to this day, you know, even for a launch game, you keep saying people keep saying the Xbox One is underpowered. It's the only, you know, between the PS4 and the Xbox that has an exclusive. I'm not talking about it uh, that has an exclusive, a first party game that's 1080p, six block, 60 frames a second. And that was, that's what Forza 5 was able to achieve that. So imagine what they're going to be able to do with Forza Motorsport 6 with new engines, new SDKs, um, DX12. Now, they don't mention that this game is using DX12 or not, um, but I would imagine so. Like 3D puddles, Jesus Christ! Like you, you, you don't know how epic that is. You know what I mean? Raining. Um, they say anything about snow, um, but driving at night. Um, but like I said, what blew my mind with this? Like I said, it's the 3D puddles and over 450 cars. Jesus! Now this is not, and this is not a bash between Drive Club and Forza Motorsport Six because it does, it's not even close. But how many cars did Drive Club have in it? 20, 30, 50? I'm sorry, they had 50 cars. You know what I mean? Like, and that was it, you know? Um, like, it's not even close. Um, Microsoft set the standard when it comes to with, with racing and with, well, with Forza games. They set the standard. Now, uh, I guess you can say that Gran Turismo is Forza Motorsport's biggest rival, biggest competition. But where is it? You know, I mean, Microsoft was able to put out three quality racing games this generation alone. Sony hasn't even put out one. I mean, you, if you, I'm not going to, you know, you say tomato, I say tomato. If you like uh, Drive Club, then I think you can pick it up right now from GameStop for 15 bucks, brand new. Um, and uh, it's nothing to do with the price, but it's not a good game. It's not a fun game. I even have most diehard Sony fans that their game is dog shit. So where's Gran Turismo? You know what I mean? You know, and that's why I told you before, I think that Sony should have with Gran Turismo 6. I didn't understand why they were putting out, and that was the one, that one, that one right here sold the least out of all of the generation, of, I'm sorry, of the series. Uh, why would they put it out so late in the console's generation? I guess, of course, the capitalize on sales would kind of backfired because it sold the least. They should have been, that should have been a, 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 a launch game for the PS4, it took advantage of the PS4, you know, Horsepower. There, there were rumors that they were supposed to, um, you know, remaster it on the PS4, whatever the case may be. Um, but Forza Motorsport 6 has set the, the bar here. It's up here for any car game with this need for speed, uh, project cars. They said, sit back, project cars development. Let's show you how to do this. We'll show you how to do this, son. You know what I mean? Lock 1080p, 60 frames a second, over 450 cars, 3D puddles. You know what I mean? Wet weather. So I don't know if that includes snow also. Like, fuck it. Hit the track with some snow. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? But it says wet weather. You know what I mean? It has a new for a cutting edge for the tech engine. Like I said, I am so excited for E3. It makes no sense, man. Like, I am fucking. Shout out to the 29 people watching me live, too. Um, I am fucking excited. If you got to, if you got something like I said, women, this is probably be a new way to start doing my videos. If you have something you want to add to this conversation while I'm doing this video, um, put it in the comment section. I can read it, read it live here. I'll left a link to the actual article. The Xbox One in Japan took it down. Once you go to Google Translate, whatever the articles don't, there's no longer there about Forza Sport Six. Uh, but DualShocks, I guess, reached out to uh, Microsoft because they were saying 1080p, 50 frames per second. Microsoft has said 1080, 1080p, has clarified that at least, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Uh, if you're watching with me live, you've got 29 people here so far. Uh, ask me, you know, what do you, what do you think about this? Like, damn, 1080p, 60 frames per second, 3D puddles, over 450 cars. That's not including map packs and, you know, DLC, over 450 cars. Damn. They went all out on that one, Shake. Like, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? They, went all, they went all out on that one, man. 
Like, it'll be fresh in the page here. Like, you guys, you know what I mean? The two guys card. Like, some do. Like I said, the new way I'm going to start doing my videos. Not all of them. Not saying I'm do all of them like this. But when something big comes across, whatever the case, I want to, you know, engage with y'all a little more. You know what I mean? Like, you know, and before people start biting what I'm doing, you see that I'm the only one doing this right here. It can be for anything. Like I said, it can be Mario's teapot. But like I said, you know, a lot of times, like, I get so many comments that I don't get to, you know, interact with, you know, to leave a comment to all. I don't think I'm thinking that I'm ignoring them. I just get so many goddamn comments sometimes on the video. Now I'm saying I'm a huge YouTuber or anything like that, but sometimes it's hard to reply to all these comments. So that's why I'm going to start doing them. Uh, the majority of my videos live, so you guys can interact with me and give your two cents. You know what I mean? It's certainly like we do the big game of small talk podcast. Um, okay, let me, what we got here? Turn down your mic next gen. All right, let me turn down my mic. I hope that's better. Uh, uh, no love 76. What's good? Next gen 720. It's all good, baby. Uh, you know what I mean? It's all good, baby. Forza Motorsport 6. Look at them. Tell you something. Like I said before, I'm not a big motorsport fan, but I may pick this up just to see goddamn these 3D puddles. You know what I mean? I may give it away on my channel too because I'm not a big Forza fan. I don't like simulation races, so what I do, I probably would just pick it up and give it away on my channel or something. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, Ralph, thank you for telling me to turn my microphone down. Appreciate it. Uh, LRM3693, saying 3D puddles to me suggested realistic splashing, yes, sir, or something that also affects driving physics. I want to know the ray tracing moment is real, though. Probably won't know until E3, but this game is looking amazing. Dynamic day and night cycles, maybe. But 24 car races, I'm buying day one. Yes, yes. See, that's why I'm doing these videos like this. Some of you guys have a lot of knowledge when it comes to the Forza series. You know what I mean? The motorsport. Now, Forza Horizon is my shit. But, you know what I mean? Like I said, this is dope. I, I, and, um, you know what I mean? And um, I, get, I wonder if you're right. If it does, the puddles affect where you hit the corners and you make, err, you know, hydroplane or something. But then just imagine seeing the puddle. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, the way I was thinking about it, if you're coming around the corner or driving on the straightaway, you see these puddles and they, like, they watch out for that puddle. You know what I mean? You can see it, maybe even the puddle waving a little bit on the track or, you know what I mean? Or, or as the wind blow it, you know what I mean? I was thinking something along that, but you might be right. It, it probably do affect with it you drive or something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, let me refresh the page. Louis Montalvo, he says, Sony is going to come out with my little ponies racing. And then where it's glorious, 1080p, 60 frames per second, Gundam style. I don't know what Sony, I don't know, um, I don't know what Sony could, like, I, I know what they can do, but I don't know what, what are they going to do, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Uh, Donovan, Ander, Don, Donovan Anderson, you like, I know you fool in real life, brother. Uh, what are your thoughts on Microsoft shocking everybody at E3 with Silent Hill being an exclusive? What do I think about? I think that will be huge. I think that would be breathtaking. I think that would steal the show. Um, Microsoft said they were going to make it up to us for the whole uh, street funny thing. I think they said that would be huge. Microsoft, the end of the day, they, right now, they're flexing their muscle. I'm flexing in this bitch. I'm flexing. You can make the balance in this bitch. You know what I mean? They're, they're flexing their muscles, which is their bankroll. And you, we're going to see that according to them, it's never been done before. You're only going to see their games on this stage. So I don't expect to see many multiplex, if any, at all on the E3 stage with Microsoft. You know what I mean? If you do see one, it's probably, you know, an exclusive or a Tom exclusive from Microsoft. You know what I mean? He said, uh, um, Optimus Specs, do a Let's Play stream with Fallout 3 or have? I don't care for Fallout 3. Or Half Life 2. But what I am going to do a, a, a live stream of is. Uh, what the hell are you? Um, uh, I don't know what the hell are you right now. But what I'm going to do a, a live stream of is Jade Empire. I was waiting to see if I can get my channel partnered with uh, Twitch, you know, take it to business. But I don't know. I'm, let me get it. Do it. They, they, they procrastinate. First it was a thousand followers, now it was something else. So 
I'm just get here and do it. You know what I mean? And make it happen. You know what I mean? But I don't care if I fall out of the half lives. I don't. It's not my type of game. Mass Effect, Fable. You know, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not that big on a, on a new Witcher either. I like Witcher 2 a lot better so far, but I'm gonna get back into it. I'm, I'm not gonna give up on it, but everybody said it's such a great game. I don't care for it so far. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't. Okay, let me see, hold up. Uh, uh, don't know if F man. Do we know if Forza Six is a DX12 game? Xbox Xbox One seems to be hitting a stride right before E3. I hope it is. I hope it lasts before the bias gaming media start throwing salt. Damn, when the B people should be on E3 this year. Yeah, listen. What we do have, Tim Dog is going to be at E3 this year. You know what I mean? So I'm going to say you guys this far as the E3 thing. Um. All you need is a thousand subscribers to be considered media to apply for your E3 press badges. Next year, like I said, we got a lot to be working on behind the scenes as far as t-shirts, coffee mugs, maybe even putting this on, a, on iTunes, our show. Uh, if you like to see like to work out with it as they're doing this, you can download it, listen to it, whatever you go. Um, so, but like I said, look look for, uh, like I said, knock and knock on what if everything goes right and, and the team stays together. And egos don't take over. You know, I mean, that's one of them. Tell you something, and just get off a topic. And everybody think, you know, do a podcast, do a podcast. That's one of the, I say it again, that is one of the hardest things you can do on YouTube because you have six or seven different personalities. You know, what I mean, getting everybody together. You got all these egos. And, you know, like I tell when I tell you all of us that we're different, you know, don't get me wrong, we have our fights and shit behind the scenes. And I, you know, I ain't speaking, this one may not be speaking to this one, or that one may not be speaking. We all come together and make magic happen on Sunday. We don't make, we don't air our, you know, our dirty laundry in the public, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people keep asking about John Doe, and not that John Doe was thrown off the show or anything like that, you know. Uh, Joe's Doe still my dude, you know what I mean? You know, this man has never disrespected me or my family, you know. Um, we all can agree or disagree. There's one thing that Joe did, don't do did. I mean, and, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like uh, the video. Like, you know, what I mean, I think you know that right did that energy for doing that video. I don't believe this is the way I was brought up. I don't believe in airing dirty laundry, man. You know, what I mean, it's just how I am. You know, if I consider you a friend, I I, I knew I still even though I don't speak to Joe as much. I still consider him a friend, of a, a, a friend. You know, what I mean, I wish him and his family nothing but the best. You know, what I mean, I want that man, that brother to succeed in life. You know, what I mean. You would never see me do a video disrespecting that man because he's never done one disrespecting me or my family. So don't expect to hear that you know, from me ever. You know what I mean? You guys always ask me about John Doe. Uh, you know what I mean? Doe, Doe, Doe is still cool with me. He's still cool. Shows up, if I'm not mistaken. I know, he's, I know me and Doe are still good. I don't know if Crack or or anybody else may speak to him. You know, Moose doesn't know him, you know. But um, Doe is still good with me. He's still my brother, you know what I mean? So. It is what it is. But like I said, doing a podcast is one of the hardest things that you can do, man. I, I bullshit you not, man. You know, to sacrifice your time, especially when anyone has their own channel. Look out for Mooch and maybe even Tim Dog. Mooch is going to be huge. You, Mooch don't have a chill button. Mooch say what the fuck is on his mind. Mooch is probably going to come out and surpass us all. Mooch is really going to be something special and um, in, 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 on YouTube. Like, that's one thing I can say. I have an eye for talent. Like, I bought you guys the crap gamers. I bought you guys the showstoppers. You didn't know who you was, like I said, you know what I mean? And I told Crap, listen, bro, fuck, because Crap was doing, you know, real white bread, clean cut. Fuck that. We would talk behind the scenes. Fuck that. You know, when you talking, it's, you know, it's, you know, fuck that. Go out there and say how you truly feel. You know what I mean? And gave birth to the Crap Gamer, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, I got one here from the Five Star General of Gaming. Do you think Project Cars set a new bar for Forza? No, I do not. Uh, Forza 6 set a new bar. You know what I mean? 3D, 3D, let, me, let, me, let me read some of the specs to you, good brother, if you didn't know. It says breathtaking graphics, 1080p, 60 frames a second lock, wet weather, 3D puddles, night racing, test your driving skill, cutting edge, Forza Tech. You know, you, know, have, uh, you have 3D puddles in this game, bro. 3D puddles. Like, like, you know, look, like that's going to be crazy. 
So looking at the watermark images and the wonky uh, page of the website, not to mention the fact that it is, isn't in English, it seems to be uh, a content leak before it was intended to be released. The 50 frames per second part is also probably a title, which they did so they reached out to Microsoft, and it is 60 frames a second. You know what I mean? Yeah, and just go on by these images of these cars. You can look at these, and I'm not saying that Project Cars is a bad looking game, but I left a link down below, your brother, uh, General Gaming, uh, Five Star General Gaming, and, and look at some of the images. Look, look at these two images from Forza Motorsport 6 and compare that to Project Cars. It's not even close. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if this game was using DX12 or what, but it's like I said, it's not even close. You know what I mean? At all. Let me go back to the video. Uh, let me. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't come in here like that. Uh, okay, hold on. Just don't come in here like that. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Alright, let's I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That's called having children. And she's about to run in with her t-shirt and her panties on. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm see I'm talking about the uh Donna that I think I know you in real life. You from Seth Borden look like I think, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, um let me uh let me say great time a uh, man Cooper, great time to be a uh, Xbox One game. Yeah, King Bronson, next gen. It's Gears of War or Unlimited Edition releasing at E3. But have get free copies of the game out. Yes, it is. Now listen, King Bronson, uh, Microsoft is ha having a fan event free E3. I think for 500 people, and they're supposed to be giving away some goodies. You know what I mean? So I don't know what it is. And could you imagine if Microsoft released the Gears of War right there at E3 and said, right now you be able to go download Gears of War Ultimate. You know what I mean? Right now for free or Half off only right now. The only thing that will be huge, it will fucking blow the doors down with that announcement. But they they are having a pre E three event for their fans. Something like Sony had, you know, at their thing. But they're gonna be giving away some free stuff. I wish I could be there. I mean, like I said, I can't. Uh, literally, really last year, um, I had back surgery. This year, like I said, my grandma was not in the best of health, and I'm not gonna go away that far from home. And you know, my grandma's not feeling well. I'm a grandma's boy, if you didn't know. So grandmother born and bred and raised me. So hopefully, knock, knock on wood, um, next year, you know, we do have Tim Dog from the Big Game of Small Talk going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you know, hopefully, have, like, at least the majority of us there. Like I said, we're going to start doing t shirts and everything, man. In you know, real talk. Uh, General Mike 74, Forza 16 like, is going to be the best racing sim since Forza 1, which was the only game at the time that actually got me off Halo 2. Uh, okay. Omeziago, the, 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 the dedicated pony from my channel. Grant Turismo destroyed Forza Motorsport franchise fat. Okay, just like the last Grant Turismo 6 destroyed it, right? It was so the least ever. Like, stop it, man. Like, come on, listen, man, listen, I uh, listen, listen, listen. You could be a Sony dude, right? But I just read you guys 3D puddles, lock 1080p, 60 frames a second, you know, uh, you know, a realistic wet weather and all this stuff. I read you're still here talking about some crazy shit. What do you have to add to the conversation, bro? What do you have to bring to the conversation? You know, you guys said that Drive Club was going to destroy uh, Forza. What happened to that? You know what I mean? You guys said Drive Club was going to destroy Forza. Remember that? That was the Forza. That was the every time a Sony fan or Sony come out saying something's going to be the the Halo killer or the or the Forza killer or the Gears killer, it always flops. The Order 1886 was the Gears killer. Flop. Drive Club was supposed to be the Forza killer. Flop. Must I keep going? Must I keep calling? Haze was supposed to be the Halo killer. Flop. Resistant was supposed to be the Halo killer. Blah. You know what I mean? So once I keep going every time, you know what I mean? All right, Sim Zim UK, what's good, Z? What type of game mechanics do you expect Microsoft HoloLens will provide? Can you see something that will showcase how the device could be used in gameplay? I imagine a perfect dark, a perfect dark game that could take full advantage of this. Keep doing your, your thing, brother, man. Peace. 
Uh, Hollywood. This here's my only thing about Hollywood, and sometimes what Microsoft is guilty of. Maybe maybe they have so much money, they tend to overprice their their products. Like here with the Windows tablet, you know, I didn't think, especially having at least apps. You think you you buy uh, when you buy a tablet, you buy it for the apps. You know, I mean, being that market, I'm sorry, that Apple had the, the 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 market on Smash between that and you know Samsung with the Google tablets. They shouldn't have came out and put this tablet at seven fifty, eight fifty. This tablet should have came out at about four hundred dollars. You know what I mean? But now they do have the new technology where there's easy to port apps over, whether it be Android apps, uh, Apple apps, everything over to the Windows tablet. So look for an influx of apps to the Windows tablet. You know what I mean? Um, I just hope my thing, good brother, is not to get off the top of what you're asking me. Uh, gameplay, yes, they showed them doing, the first demo we saw them were doing was, um, what's the game? Uh, with the rocks and shit. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The game with the rocks, Microsoft just bought them for $2.5 billion. Them, they showed that they showed the demo of that plan and, um, you know, on, on, on HoloLens. Could you imagine that PT demo running around and they, and they said, listen, for people that have tried it out in the media, it said it shits on the Google Glasses, shits, it destroys it, it destroys Oculus Rift, destroys anything that's come out thus far with far as. That type of technology, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It says it straight up destroys it. I just hope they don't come up with a ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I can't afford it, but the average Joe, you know what I mean? Like if you want to be a man, they can come out and that thing be nine hundred dollars. Everybody can better afford that shit, you know what I mean? It should I think it should be no more than six fifty, you know, but that's just me, you know. You know. Let me let me refresh the page here. We can do a few more questions before we get out of here. So that's why I said I like to start doing my videos like this, man. I get to interact, and I, I do like to interact, man. I do, you know what I mean? That's that's what that's what's up with me. I like to interact, like talking to you guys. Uh, destroy your man sixty four. They gotta say Halo Killer and Forza Killer because their own franchises are shit. But every time they come out and say like we'll talk, every time they come out and say like, this, this is a, a Halo Killer, or a Gears Killer, a Forza Killer, a Fable Killer. All those games flop or bullshit you not, man. I'm not just saying it to be said, it's the truth. Cycle Gamer, considering Xbox is set to take over E3, what do you think? What do you what do you put thing? What do you think so it would be big unveiling? They gotta have something, right? Second question, Microsoft seems to be doing a lot with PC. With that said, do you think that Microsoft will put all of the exclusives on PC? I think the ones that make sense will be on PC. Um I don't expect to see games like Halo Five, and because it's not. Let's be real. You know what I mean? The um, console market and the PC market is two different things. And, and you understand what I'm saying? It, it, not, it, don't get me wrong. But most people buy these powerful rigs, even such as myself. I got one behind me. We buy them to play multiplex. You know what I mean? Um, but I said, guess what? It makes sense. But Microsoft is not in competition with itself, so they don't care if you buy the game. To, to run on Windows from their Windows store. Maybe they will probably you probably not be able to buy their games on Steam, but probably you will have to buy it from the Windows store or whatever the case may be, because Windows 10, I can't say much about that unless you're in the beta, you know what the hell I'm talking about. Y'all you know, like, like Phil Spencer said, your games is your games, man. Um as far as Sony with a big unveiling, I'm I'm hoping that they show something from God of War. I'm a big God of War fan. Um Uncharted we already saw that we know that's coming so um, they covered and cut the show by 30, 30 minutes. I'm not expecting nothing big from Sony. Look, shit, I did a video, uh, yesterday, uh, you know, that they were going to be showing Destiny DLC on stage. Like, come on, like, that game has been out for damn near a year. We should be seeing games that have been out. And listen, well, that's not fair, next gen. Uh, so Microsoft advertises DLC, map packs, you're right, for games that are coming out. Not some shit that's been out for a year. Like God damn! And well, last year they showed um, uh, uh, Dead Rising Three uh, DLC. That was a standalone thing that you can bought, and it had nothing to do with Dead Rising Three. That was some standalone DC, you know, what I mean DLC. But we shouldn't be seeing, you know, Destiny at, at this year's E3. Destiny has been on three on three E3s back to back, 2013, 2014, 
And now 2015, Sony get your shit together, man. You know what I mean? He said Gran Turismo. Uh, he said GT is on rails, racing man. Gran Turismo. Okay. Uh, Marquee uh, 84, will you bring John Doe back? I don't have a problem with John Doe. John Doe has his own thing and his own show that he's doing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I don't like to say it. You may see a show for me and John Doe, us together. You know what I mean? So it's all about chemistry. You know what I mean? It's all about, you know, chemistry. Me and John Doe get along well. You know what I mean? You may see a show in the future for me and John Doe. You never know. You know what I mean? Uh, CRX Star. Oh, my fucking God. Fuck the resolution. The frame rate is king, as they say, but these screenshots look stunning. If previous rumors turn out to be true, this will be the first game to have true ray tracing console gaming anyway, which is true. I'm telling you, this next wave of game using these new engines are going to show what the components are in the Xbox One and can truly do. Like utilizing the flash memory the X1 has, and if you remember back when they said announced the DX12, they said the, the first game to use it, it will arrive by holiday 2015. Yeah, so there are a lot of things. Like I said, the, the, the Xbox One, and again, not to go with the whole conspiracy thing, it's still the only console to have NDAs. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you still don't know what the fuck everything that's in the box. It also has eight gigs of flash. Like, what the fuck is that used for? It has eight gigs of RAM, eight gigs of flash, you know what I mean? Um, they thought it had 32 megabytes of each RAM. It, it has more. Um, I think it's like 47 or 50, you know, megabytes of each RAM. Like, so we don't know everything that's in the box and what it's used for still, you know what I mean? Uh, what we got here? Uh, Deza Tato Down, do you think Microsoft will show the vision that game hasn't been on the radar for a while? It's been pushed back, and no, Microsoft said that this year, at, at this year, E3, that they're going to be showing nothing but exclusive. So um, I don't expect to see any multi plats really on Microsoft stage. Going according to them and what they said, you know what I mean? I don't really expect. If we do so, we'll see a multi plat it's probably something that's going to be time exclusive or has something huge for the Xbox One. You know what I mean? Let me, um, I got a few uh, comments that I have to approve. I'm going to answer these. Oh, here I come, here I come, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Okay, dear 462 why is our ability to chat on your live stream different from other live streams? For example, I have to refresh the comments in order to see the latest. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, that's what any live stream, you got to refresh the page, bro. What says top comments, and you got new comments. Just go back and click that back and forth, you know. I don't, I don't know, you know. Uh, let me see. Do we have any more questions if we can tell about it here? Uh, Mad Mike, how much do you think they, they pay one stop for gaming to be a retard? They must be paying some dollars. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> pay, uh oh, from man. Shout out to my man Omega, man. I had to spoke to that dude for real. You're fucking stupid. I mean, how much they got to be paying you to be fucking retarded? Omega, Omega burnt the fuck out, man. Uh, Mike Ortiz, what franchise that's out now do you think that Microsoft Microsoft should buy exclusively or extend their portfolio and also help them catch up to Sony? All right, that's a good question, Mike Ortiz. That's why I do these type of videos. See, this right here is fun to me. I like to converse. Um, now, if the Konami thing is true, then they, you know, they said uh, it was supposed to be for $1 billion, I would expect that would be multiple IPs. But imagine if Microsoft was to buy, no, fuck it, before I even go there. Uh, Shamu 3, of course, get that, that's huge. Um, I even though I know uh, Jade Empire was an Xbox exclusive, Microsoft doesn't, they published the game. Um, if they can, you know, secure a Jade Empire 2 exclusive to the Xbox One, but being that BioWare is owned by e EA, that's going to be, that will cost some money, and that, you know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know, I don't see that happening. Uh, and Microsoft could, you know, buy, 
you know, Metal Gear and, and, and take that from the uh from the um Sony dudes, man. That would be huge. Metal Gear. When you think of Metal Gear, it's traditionally known as a PlayStation game. That would be huge. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. The question is, what would you what would you like them buy? You know they've got the, they've got their own football coming out. I think that's going to be huge, man. We need to talk about that. You know, the Joe Montana NFL 2K16 is coming. It is real and it's coming. And you guys remember who bought that video to you first, man? Live. Remember that, man? I got that from little birdie. Like you know what I mean? And even to this day, little bits comes out. Like I forgot the name of this site, but when these a bunch of publishers go and they take pictures. Of whatever they're working on and it was a goal post and at the bottom of the goal post it, it was you know if you know anything about the NFL it has the Under Armour um, deal you know to have the, the padding around the goal post and stuff you know, Under Armour and stuff like that right so it was a picture of the goal post and wrapped around it was the Under Armour and, and, and under that it says I'm working on a uh, uh, NFL game using the uh, really, I'm sorry I'm working on a football game using using the uh Unreal Engine 4 engine. We all know that Joe Montana is using uh uh Unreal Engine 4, but I think that's huge for Microsoft to have their own NFL type football game. Like I think that's gonna move many, many units. I can't wait for that, man. I'm really, really excited, man. Uh what do you think of the Xbox graphics improvement? Um I mean, the consoles are going to continue to get better and better and better. We, we have yet, and developers have said that. We have yet to see what either one of these consoles really can do. Once they stop all that cross developing, let me tell you this. I say, like, and I got this from a developer, and I'm going to put it to you in layman's terms. I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying, okay? Last generation was Direct X9, all right? Just think about this. Last generation consoles, the 360. In the PS3, even though the PS3 doesn't use Direct X9 equivalent to Direct X9, okay, so we just gonna say Direct X9 because it's the industry standard, okay. Now you have these new games that are coming out that are Direct X11 equivalent or higher. So when they cross developer, no matter how pretty the game is, Monday. Now go sit down. Let me finish working. Uh, okay. No matter, like I said, how pretty a game may look, but could you imagine the game still has to fit around the parameters? of Direct X9, you understand what I'm saying? And you take a game like uh, Mortal Kombat, right? You know what I mean? Nice looking game, but could you but could you imagine how pretty that game would look if if they, if they didn't have plans, if they, they, they have they having troubles now with the frame rate, but could you imagine how pretty that game would look if they just could have focused on Direct X11 or higher? No matter how, you know I mean? No matter how pretty the game, it still had to, you know, how far they pushed it. The hardware, they really couldn't. It still had to fit around the parameters of Direct X9. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to put it in the language terms like that. Once last generation goes away, and they can just worry on about the PC, Xbox One, and PS4, we're going to see a big leap, you know what I mean, as far as visuals when it comes to these consoles. It, it, come on, think about it. You know, I'm not saying that these consoles are some power horses, but we have yet to see, really see what they can do yet, man. Honestly, you know? Um... That's about it. I'm gonna um, refresh the page one last time. Oh, oh, double O rain it says. Meanwhile, on Drive Club, Pony were praising how good the rain looks. Yeah, I think forces gonna make it have that seat, man. Okay, Mob Calico, bang bang. Mob Calico, we need a fight night box game for the Xbox One as an exclusive. That would definitely sell in my opinion. Keep it Xbox. Mob Calico, check this out now. The team that did the UFC, right? The team that did the UFC, um, they post, that's who does the fight night. They post to the alternate like Microsoft does with uh, the Forza series. You get Forza Horizon one year, you get Forza and Sport the following year. And now I'm hoping from EA that we see something for fight night. Especially how big the Pat Gal uh, Mayweather fight would put them two on the cover, you know, going like this or something. You know, I mean, it's time for a fight night. You're right about that. Now, anything like this they done with EA, it's hard to get, get the games from being exclusive because EA is about their money, man, they, and they try to make as much money as possible. So, even, you know what I mean? It is what it is. 
You know what I mean? Uh, Sam, I don't think people realize the importance of it uh, and undisclosed impact of these NDAs between Microsoft and AMD. The true architecture of the Xbox GPU will open a lot of people's eyes. Yes, it would. Uh, Sam, um, I must agree with you. We don't know, like I said, end of the day. And I, must, and I always say this, you know what I mean? Microsoft spent about $3 billion developing the Xbox One. That's nothing to do with Connect. They gave AMD about $3 billion. Sony spent about a little more than about $450 to $475 million. We're just going to say a half a million, a half a billion, right? There's no way in hell that you can spend three, about $3 billion and walk away with a weaker console. That doesn't make any sense. And listen, I'm going to say this too. Not saying that the Xbox One has to get me more powerful than what it is because I'm happy with my product. I like what I own. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to get you know, I like I like the multitasking. I love everything about the Xbox One. I just want to say that. But to me, just being, you know, just using common sense, like, how the hell can you spend $3 billion and walk away with a 900p machine? That doesn't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? And once AMD, like I said, I think it's in June or even July, once they unveil their new GPUs and stuff like that, uh, because the last one is with um, AMD, we're going to see what's really in the box. Like I said, um, you even uh, Dual Shockers, it was a Dual Shockers or Eurogamer, when I think something got slipped, I think it was from SDK, and they said, we were we, we were wrong about you know the Xbox One saying that they had an equivalent to a seventy seven seventy. He said we're for all we have yet to really see what this Xbox One can do. It's much more powerful than a seven seventy seventy. A seventy seven seventy. I think that's what either you. I'm sorry, your game was said about the um, Xbox One. Microsoft never said what GPU was doing. Even all that one point three one teraflops. Microsoft didn't say that. That was something that your game came up with. It's something that you found. Microsoft never said what GPU they were using. They never said, but um, like I said, it is what it is. Uh, um, okay. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. This right here. Uh, oh, I got one last question. He he, guy name is he he. What do you think about the new Fallout Four trailer on PlayStation Channel? This probably means that it is an Xbox exclusive deal. It's probably. I'm but not. I'm not a big Fallout fan to be honest with you though. I'm not man. Um, I, I'm not. A, they, that was been a rumor for a while that Fallout Four was supposed to be an exclusive or a time exclusive for the Xbox One. That's been rumored for a while. So you know, like I said, we we're not going to see everything at E3. We're going to have to wait to Gamescom about a month later to see the full picture. They say they have just enough content for E3 that they do for Gamescom. Like God damn, and Sony's not going to be there at all. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But anyway. This is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. Thank you guys for joining me live. Um, I got about six of y'all in here. Thank you guys for joining me live. I appreciate it. And um, look out for the big game of Small Talk podcast tomorrow. And I need a shave. I'm gonna get one Monday. I'm like, oh, bird. but anyway, it's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. And as I always say, bang, bang. Damn, dog. Gundam style. Yeah, old school, man. Tell my old head, man. Latigo. What you guys know about that, man? Showing tigers on my shirts and alligators. You want to see the inside? I'll see you later. Here comes the drama. Yo, that's that nigga with that fake. Wow. Why you push me in my face? Stay in my place. That's that Biggie Small Sky Some Limits. But yeah, one guy. Yeah, this is Latigo, man. I'm a big, big fan of Latigo and LaCosta. So that's majority what I wear, you know. No, no, you guys, you see me, you see me in my gym clothes or my pajamas. Some of you motherfuckers probably think I'm a bum. Like, no, next gen got next gen got a gear. Trust me, you know what I mean. Hundred dollars shirts, you know what I mean. Sorry, this this is going somewhere else. But you know, I sometimes I when you see me open these these ranks and stuff, it be I be responding back from a comment probably from about four or five days ago. People say stuff. Hey man, you need to get a, do this, this, this. And your hair looking all wild, this, that, this, that, the other. You got a fro. First, I got dreads. It probably was new growth. And you know what I mean? You guys, some of you guys don't know. Like, I had dreads. The dreads is long as hell. You know what I mean? I tie them up. You know what I mean? But, and I just cut my hair. I cut my hair every three months. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? You know, I'll cut my hair every three, every three months. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't need it no longer than this hair. I don't need it longer than that. It's just as long as in the back. You know what I mean? But, um, 
So, you know what I mean? You out here looking at all these, these are just my gym clothes. You know, or my hat with my bunch of pajamas. I ain't gotta get cute. I'm just sitting here talking about video game. I just think it's crazy as hell, man. You know, but anyway, this is your boy next year, 720. And as I always say, bang, bang. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the Big Game of Small Talk podcast. Look out for the show. That has gone my nose.